Hello everybody. On the 17th or 18th of May, depending where in the world you live, we've got a wonderful new moon at 26 degrees of Taurus. And the moon is exalted in the sign of Taurus. It means that it's very strong in this sign. Because we had, on the 3rd and 4th of May, the very emotional full moon in Scorpio. And now we've got this new beginning of a new moon in Taurus. And Taurus is a very sensual sign. It's very physical. It loves to be in nature, to get all the senses really energized. Taurus loves good food, good things to eat, nice luxuries. And this is a wonderful time for going to a farmer's market, for getting the freshest produce that you can, for enjoying the colors, the brightness of the colors of the fruits and vegetables, and coming home and making yourself a wonderful, deliciously healthy meal. It's also a great time um, because it's ruled by Venus uh, to do something luxurious for yourself. Maybe buy yourself a handmade chocolate, something that makes you feel mm, quite decadent. It's a wonderful time to treat yourself to something. It's also, um, uh, Taurus rules the throat area and it also rules the colour blue, hence it's a good idea to wear blue. And blue is um, the energy of, this throat chakra is the energy of gratitude, thankfulness. That's also being triggered by this new moon in Taurus, because Taurus rules your money, rules finances, rules love as well. So what is in your life that you truly appreciate, that you truly are thankful for? And if you start looking at the things that you're thankful for, you'd be amazed at how much there really is to be thankful for. And so that's another thing to really plant seeds. It's a new moon, it's time to plant seeds of that gratitude. The more gratitude you feel, the more great things you're going to bring and draw into your life. And <clears throat> as well, uh, Taurus can sometimes get into a bit of a rut. It is a fixed sign, so um, try to do something a little different. You know if you're in a rut or not. So if you're getting into a rut, you're doing same old, same old. Do something a little differently for the new moon, a new beginning. It's a wonderful time to plant a garden, vegetables. It's also wonderful to appreciate nature, to look at the flowers. Taurus is a slow sign. It's not about rushing around. This is about relaxing and enjoying the fruits of nature and the beautiful things that we truly have as around us. If you just look for them, they're all around. So get looking and look as well as to where does this new moon fall in your chart? Where is an opportunity for a new beginning to be self-sufficient? The, the new moon in Taurus is, Taurus is about self-sufficiency. Where can you stand up for yourself, stick up for yourself? Um, and maybe it's financially, you need to get more self-sufficient financially. Maybe it's in your relationships, maybe you've been a little needy or too dependent. Um, so these are all possibilities to be looking at during this glorious new moon. It's making a, tr um, Venus is its ruler and Venus is trining Neptune at this time, which is a great time for any kind of creative endeavor, music, art, inspiration. It's a wonderful time, and hence that's why I came here to this glorious sunset uh, to share this with you, with the beauty of this. And I hope that you'll enjoy it with me. I've got a lot of people looking at me as though I'm extremely strange, but I don't care, as they say in Greek. Lembirazi, but here truly it is paradise. Ine paradisos. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful new Taurus moon. Treat yourself. Bye for now. <laughs>